This is it. Shannon, this. This is it. Oh, Lisa, you said the same thing about the last three hotels. No, no, darling. This is totally different. I know it's here. I really feel Scott's presence right here. Oh, personally, I do like your approach much better than the logical one. We certainly didn't get any help from that very logical man, uh, uh, that friend of Duncan's on the Cancun yeah. police force. Whew. Why don't we start with the bellboys? The bellboys? No. <laughs> no, this time, we're going to start at the top. Oh, but the bellboys at the other hotel were so, you know, friendly. I know this. <laughs> I know this. Come, sweetie. <laughs> Excuse me. Si, senora. How may I help you? Oh, um, I, I'm, I'm Lisa Mitchell. I'm looking for my son, Scott Eldridge. And uh, I, I would like to know his room number, please. I think he's a guest here. Sure. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> now, tell me not to be nervous. Sure, don't be nervous. Hey, you'll sing like an angel. You'll be surrounded by good friends. Look, there's no reason to be anything but happy and excited tonight. Smile. What if my voice cracks? It won't. What if I forget the lyrics? You'll make up new ones. Better ones. Damien. Come on, I'm kidding. You won't forget your lyrics. All you need is this. Our little birdie Malta left it behind for you as a good luck charm. Oh, thank you. To remind you how happy we were in Malta. Thank you, but I don't need reminding. I'm much happier here, right here, right now. Hey, you ready? Hi. For ready. Oh, uh, gee, I lost all track of time. I had to. Mm. I'm sorry. I was working. Not ready. Lost it. And yeah. Uh, listen. Mm. You were so wonderful when you ran interference for me with Lucinda last night. So why don't you be that knight in shining armor and save me again tonight? No. But I will wait for you while you change into something dazzling. Not that you aren't dazzling, really, as is. What? The blue paint, very <laughs> unique touch. It's nice. So what's so fascinating that you've lost all track of time? Hey, sis. Well, you look frazzled. You gotta take it a little easier on yourself. Who's that on the phone? Kirk. I get the feeling that he won't be bothering you much anymore. When you know what I know. Well, that's pretty cryptic. If you know something I don't, it'll be a sport. Let me in on it. Oh, it's nothing specific. Come on. Come on, you never mentioned Kirk's name and smile in the same sentence. What's going on? It's probably nothing. Call it a hunch. Business hunch? Bingo. You're so smart, I'm gonna let you in on it. My hunch is that Kirk had worldwide buy a ton of worthless stock, and Lucinda's lost millions already. Just who was your source on this hunch? A trader friend of mine. The stock is Biogene Limited. Well, your source is mistaken. Oh, I'd be willing to bet on that. Because this worthless Biogene stock was not bought by Worldwide. It was bought by me. the world turns brought to you today by attends its protection without question
with the tens. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I wish I was, Evan. No, you see, I bought controlling interest in Biogene Limited first thing this morning. And since then, Walsh Montgomery has gone in the hole about $2 million, and Biogene's price is still dropping. So it looks like your dirty little trick backfired. Dirty trick? Wait, wait a minute. What are you talking about? I am talking about you. I am talking about you setting Kirk up with phony information about Biogene. Whoa, whoa, well, let's just take it back a few steps. Where do you get off Anthony, buying a company it. without did talking you, to Emily and did me? Did you set Kirk up with phony information? Whatever Kirk told you is a lie. Oh, come off of it. I know all about the facts. Emily told me. Emily didn't know. You're right. Emily didn't tell me. You just did, Evan. <sighs> okay, yes! I finally set out to prove that the only reason he's been hanging around here every day is for the opportunity to spy for worldwide. So I set up a little loyalty test, which he failed with flying colors. He saw confidential facts with my name on it, and he stole it. No! No, he took it, he thought better of it, and he returned it to me, and I ran with it. Oh, you're damn right he thought better of it. He realized it was bogus information, and he sandbagged no, you with no, it purposely. No, yes. Kirk thought that Biogene was a golden shot. Oh, come on, Connor, wake up. How long can you continue to be blind to this guy? Thanks to your stupid emotional approach to... You may have just cost us this company, you know that? Me! Me! Excuse me! This information was your doing. The misinformation was your doing, Evan. All I did was take action. Oh. That's what my job is all about, well, remember? Pardon me, Miss Action Woman, but your job's gonna be on shaky ground when this news hits. I'll be surprised if the stockholders don't stone you to death. No, no. All I did was act in good faith. You, on the other hand, are guilty of entrapment, so I have got news for you, little brother. You can kiss this board of director's oh, no. seat goodbye. No, 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 no. You're not going to twist this one around into something that's my fault. No, that might have worked with Dad, but not with me. Not here and not now. Poor little Evan. What are you going to do? You going to run to Mother like you always do? Well, I'm sorry, sweetheart. She can't save your neck this time. So, um, where does it say that I have to give you a reason? Fine, don't show me the painting. Be that way, be shy, be unbearably private. See if I care. I'm just trying to save you some pain. Oh, yeah? Unless, of course, you're... <laughs> you're into paint by number. Or, uh, or black velvet. Actually, I, I really am, yeah. So what's your specialty? You do little kids with big eyes? Yeah, or, or cats with big eyes, yeah. or just, just big eyes. And blue to match your face. Well, it's easy when you paint by numbers. <laughs> I bet that you show your dad your work. Lily's singing tonight, right? It's a, it's, it's a big night, so um, so I I should go. Why don't you go on ahead, tell Lucinda that I'll be there, and, and I'll just I'll hey, throw something hey, on. Hey. just happened? Nothing. I just got here with reality, that's all. What reality? Something about your dad? Sam, I feel like I've, I've made you sad. You don't make me sad, Craig. Will you dance with me later? Sure, if you leave me alone now so I can get changed. Excellent. I will wait for you in the car. No, listen, go on ahead. Don't miss the beginning. I'll, I'll drive myself in my own car. I will wait for you in the car. I'm sorry, senora. We have no senor Eldridge in our register. Well, then, uh, try Mr. Scott. Would you please look up Mr. Scott? Sure. Thank you. You know, sometimes they do switch first and last names around. Yeah, it's good thinking. Oh, Shannon, I'm ter I feel... I am so certain that Scott stood right here on, at this very place, and not too long ago, either. Senora, this. there is no Scott in our register at this time. Uh-huh. Well, um, now, there was a magazine about three weeks ago. They came down here, an American magazine, called Fashion Flair, and uh, they were down here to do a picture shoot of something. Yes, I know. They stayed at the hotel. They did? Oh, well, all right, then. But could you look back three weeks ago and see if Scott was here at that time? I'm sorry. Sorry, senora. I don't have the authority to access the records. Only the manager can do that. Oh, come on now, surely. Uh, you could bend the rules just a smudge. A smidge. A smidge, whatever. 
He would do that to help a mother who's trying so desperately to find her son. Please. I'm so sorry, senora. But only the manager can do it. You will have to come later and speak to her. Lisa, I know how tired you are. Why don't, why don't you go sit down? No, just, just please go sit down. Sure. All right. You know, I wish that I had been here when the fashion shoot was happening. Scott said that it was so glamorous. I'm sure that you've done some modeling, right? Me? Mm -hmm. No. No? Oh, I can't believe that. No, no. I'm sure that the camera would just, oh, love you. <laughs> this gentleman that you are looking for is with the magazine. Yes, yes. And in fact, he's planning to do another article. And this time, it's going to be on hotels and their staff. And you have been so friendly. I would love to tell him what your name is. Miguel Chavez, senora. Ah, Miguel. Oh, no, it's a uh, senorita. <laughs> oh, Miguel. <laughs> oh, I can call you Miguel, right? Please. <laughs> well, Miguel, I think you could just sneak a little tiny peek at those records. I'm afraid that is not possible. But if you come back at 7.45, the manager, Senora Lopez, will be here. I will explain your situation to her, and I'm sure she will do everything to help you. Well, I'm sure if that's all you can do, that's all you can do. Gracias, Miguel. <laughs> no, I couldn't budge him either, but if we come back a little bit later, I think that we should probably Shannon. be able... That man over there, honey, that's him. Oh. <laughs> Scott, where the hell have... Thank you. Good luck. This evening, of course, you don't need any luck. Are you kidding? Take anything I can get? Rabbit's feet? Feathers? Lucinda! Is that the latest? May yeah. I offer you a drink? I'd love that. I can't yeah. screw it. Enjoy. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi
Wouldn't it be better to just sit back and let the police do their thing? Eventually, they'll make an arrest, and Hal will never have to know that it was you. It was the stalker. Believe me, it'd be much better that way. Somehow, I don't think he'd be too pleased if he found out. Hi. Hi. Thought we'd stop by and say hi. Listen, hi. Um, a really wet guy with a really clean kid last night. <laughs> Cute kid. Ugly guy. <laughs> really ugly? Yeah, yeah. Sounds like hell. That's the one. <laughs> what are you doing? A project? Look at hi. that. Hi. Look so the color it's color so beautiful. It's, I guess I'll be taking it with me because I'm stuck. A wash. Oh, it's okay. It washes up with water. It's kid glue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi, you are. Hey. Well, Will is in his crib. He is squeaky clean and he is conked up. And look at you, not a drop in sight. You're improving. How about that? Practice makes perfect. <laughs> uh, can I get anybody a drink? None for me. Please. I'd love one. Thank uh, you. Me too. This way. How about a brandy? Sure. Just tell me something, Greg. I was wondering, how does Franco feel about Visconti's connection with BRO at this point? As far as I know, he's extremely pleased with it. Why? Oh, really? I'm kind of surprised about that because, you see, I went over the figures, and while Barbara's profits have done very well by this arrangement, Franco's profits have remained just flat. Well, I'm sure Franco has some sort of strategy in mind. He always does. Like what? Operating at a loss? That's a hell of a strategy. Um, maybe he considers the association with BRO a long-term investment or purely a prestige thing. Maybe he makes his profits elsewhere. Yeah, well, he must make a bundle elsewhere, because he lives high off the hog in Rome. So how does he make all his money, Greg? <sighs> you know, Hal, my bailiwick is design. I really... The financial aspect of this business has never really interested me. Well, I'm leaving for the Falcon Club. With Rosanna? No, she's, she's busy tonight. So I guess you'll be meeting Emily as usual. At least it's possible to work with Emily. Come on, Evan. You and I used to work wonderfully together. Since when? Uh, certainly not since you teamed up with Kirk and flipped out on me. <sighs> well, I see you've gotten your fight back. Did you call Mother for a little more ammunition? I didn't need her. Dad gave me plenty. The, um... Beamer convertible for you, the used family sedan for me, the Ivy League college for you, the University of Bush League for me. The list goes on and on, Connor. Dad's always favored you. Well, can you blame him? You never gave him the time of day, Evan. Mother turned you against him. Look, she didn't have to. It was clear to me that he was a business loser. I mean, he invited people to walk all over him, and then he'd act surprised and wounded when they took him up on it. And you have turned out just like him. Hey. I tried to consult you before I made this buy. I looked all over for you and Emily, but you know what? Neither one of you were here. Well, you should have waited until we got back. No, I couldn't, because I thought that I had to act immediately on this tip. Oh, come on. Come, just be honest with yourself. The truth is, you know things were going shaky for your re-election as CEO. Now, you figured if you could pull off something of this magnitude, you could dazzle the stockholders and scuttle Emily in one fell swoop. So you took a big risk. A risk you shouldn't have taken without proper research. Now face it, Connor. You screwed up bad, and there's no one to blame but yourself. And I suppose Emily isn't doing everything she can to dazzle the stockholders. A little bathing suit romp with Guy Dexter, and uh, tripping the light fantastic with Austin Webster last night, or so I hear. Oh, did you hear that from Kirk? And now she wants your support. You giving it to her, Evan? Well, you make it awful hard for me not to. Go to hell. Well, uh, since you've acquired Biogene Limited uh, for your next move, I would suggest you acquire a shrink. You've got some serious problems, Connor Walsh. No, you're the one with the problems, pal. And you know what? I am going to stay CEO of this company. Yeah, we'll see about that. Senora Lopez? See? Si. Hi, uh, I Yes, I'm, uh, I'm Lisa Mitchell. Um, I understand that perhaps my son, Scott Eldridge, was a guest here in your hotel? Oh, yes, see, si, see. Si. Uh, Miguel mentioned something about uh -huh. that. Um, I checked the records, but I'm afraid there was no Scott, uh, Mr. Scott or Mr. Eldridge registered at the time in the hotel. Oh, dear, look, look, I have a picture. Maybe if you just saw his picture, uh, then it would help. There, right there. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Senora Mitchell, but I, I recognize the magazine people, but yes. I'm afraid your son is not familiar to me. Oh, dear. Um, I was just so hoping You know, that... maybe your intuition just needs a little shot of dessert. <laughs> Come on, I'm buying. All right, then. Well, thank you so much. Senor. You're very welcome. <sighs> This is the manager of the Continental Hotel. There were two ladies, two American ladies, looking for Scott Eldridge. But I knew nothing. Correct? Is there anything else I can do? Number two of As the World Turns. Are you sorry you didn't stay home with your paintings? Um, no, not too much. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> to us, Craig. To us. You know, I'm really glad that I talked to you to coming out here tonight. Because Lily's just tickled pink that you're here. Me too. Although I'm still a little worried about Pete. I am, I am. I'm very <laughs> glad that you and Bob came out and played with us Well, tonight. thank you, thank you. Me too, actually. You know, Christopher has been so afraid that he lost his best friend so this afternoon after the game, when Kenny invited him to come home with him and spend the night. There was no stopping him. I don't know if Tom has told you or not, but Chris has been acting up lately. Yeah, he told me, he told me. But, you know, kids go through phases. I don't think Christopher's going to be borrowing any more toys. He's basically <laughs> a very good kid. Oh, well, I know he is. It's just that I have a feeling that his days of being an open book are long since gone. Uh-uh, no. After he goes to this phase, he'll be an open book again. Till he gets his driver's license. <laughs> I'm going to go see where our drinks are, Tom. Okay. Margo. What? It's wonderful to see you back in town. It's Thank wonderful, you. and you look marvelous. Thank and you. I want you to meet someone who's... Who's new to town? <laughs> you like it, Samantha? Yes. Uh, um, this is my ex stepdaughter, <laughs> and this is my new half sister, Samantha Mark. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Margo. Nice to meet you. And, and you've really um, got to watch your P's and Q's around this confection what? because she's a police detective. My sister is a brilliant police detective. I'm sure. Uh, excuse me. Sam, can I interest you in a dance? Why, most certainly. Excuse me. Nice meeting you. You too. Ah, uh, excuse me. Thank you. Well, I hope you don't mind a table for two. It's just so lovely tonight. I've had to have you all to myself instead of sharing you with the W-O-A-K crowd. No, I like it. Keeps me further away from Kim and closer to you. I see we understand each other very well. That we do. Except one little thing confuses me. How come you told Hal Munson that you weren't interested in the financial aspect of Visconti when I know that you are? It's not really my place to explain Franco to Hal. Okay. Just tell me, how does Franco live so high? Well, I'm not sure. Maybe he has a trust fund. Okay, I get the message. Guess I'll just have to find out on my own, then. No, you won't. You will leave it the hell alone. What shall we have for dinner? <laughs> Mind sharing that with a friend? Not at all. Welcome, friend. Hmm. Had a bad day? Yeah, yeah. Boy, the things you do when you love a child. What's the latest on the baby's heart condition? Who knows? Nobody's talking, at least not to me. Did you ever get that call through to your kids? No. So I signed the separation papers. Oh, Craig. 
Oh, that must have been the hardest thing you ever had to do. Come here. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It's my pleasure, pal. Ahoy, mateys! Hey. Ahoy! Hey, okay, my break's over. Back to work. Oh, okay. well, bye. Talk after Lily sings. Huh? Okay. Did I scare Emily away? No, no. No? No. So, that's Sam. She sure is pretty. Huh? Yeah, yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. I guess you guys spend a fair amount of time together, too. Yeah, well, you know, we almost live on top of each other, so uh, we do hang out. We uh, go jogging, kid around. Yeah. Kidding around, that's good. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> she's smart and she's mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that she's a talented artist, but she won't let me look at her work. Ah, but there's nothing you'd like more than to have a peek at it. Her, her work. work. Yeah, her work. You are pushing it, sis. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking no. about. Right. I guess you haven't uh, noticed that she's drop-dead gorgeous either. Oh, I don't know. Maybe once or 50,000 times. You know, so. I want to take I you back to Tom. So. He makes you, you know, behave. No, uh-uh. Not even the district attorney is going to get me off your case. Oh, yeah? yeah. Mind. Mm -hmm. Careful, what? careful. I have a black belt, you oh, know. Do you know. These hands are registered. Oh, They're okay. lethal well, weapons. Well, yes, they are. Come on, stop. I'll tell Mom. All right. No, we can't have that. All right. Sis, I love you. Look at that. I'm so sorry I'm keeping you from the Falcon Club tonight. You should feel guilty keeping a suave man around town like me from being there, <laughs> but you know what? Anyway. I kind of like it here. <laughs> I think Gregory's right. I think we should just think of this recovery time as quality time. Yeah, he is right, except that he fawns all over you. Oh, come on, come on. He means well. No, he's smart and he plays dumb. I don't like him and I don't trust him. Do you know you have never, ever given that guy the benefit of the doubt? Yeah, I know that. It's because I feel like he's always going to pick my pocket. And since when did you become Gregory's best friend? I, I, enough about Gregory, all right? We're wasting a wonderful, beautiful night. Mm. And besides... What? You smell like baby shampoo. Oh, that's because Will turned the bath into kind of a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. The best two falls out of three, and he won. <laughs> Will is the best daddy in the whole world. Do you know that? And this is a hell of a lot better than the Falcon Club. You know that? I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> and then Hal asked me practically point blank if Franco was making a financial killing under the table somewhere. A killing meaning illegally. This conversation you had with Hal was in private. Ah, somebody else overheard it. Janice was there, but believe me, Eduardo, she's nothing to worry about. It is in my nature to worry. Janice knows too much. Okay, I'll see you later. All right. All right. Janice, look, I'm sorry I got tied up yesterday. Oh, uh, believe me, I understand. I'll catch up with you one day soon. <laughs> Where's the new boyfriend? Gregory's not my boyfriend. And he's over there talking to your cousin. You don't like Gregory, do you? It doesn't matter. Tell me, are you still interested in Holden? No. Why? Because if your relationship with him ever starts up again, I'd expect you to keep him away from W.O.A.K. It's not going to be a problem, Danny, and Holden and I are just friends. Good evening. Hey, hey Evan. I haven't seen your sister. Where is she? I'm not sure, but uh, Emily's certainly here. Where's Lily? Oh, she's here. She's here. She'll be on stage soon. So yeah, basically, you're living a lie. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I have to keep telling Lucinda that I hate horses because if she would ever find out that I love them but couldn't ride, well... Oh, well, then she'd insist she teach you herself. You know that. Yeah, and we all know what that kind of scenario would be like. Well, I have a solution. I'll, I'll teach you myself. Sure. Oh, that's nice, darling. What are you going to teach? It's a Samantha? secret. Oh, okay. Hi. A secret. Hi. Good. Hi. That means you're bonding. She needs to be opened up, this Samantha, this Hello. sister of mine. Oh, thank mm. you. Welcome. I was wrestling on Emily the deck. Is so bloody shameless. With my sister. You can't be serious. Yes, I can. Kirk took the bait. 
But he spit it out. Connor snatched it up. We've lost $2 million in counting, like that. How could she? Of all the incompetent... You know what? On the other hand, the stockholders are going to be so furious, there's no way they're going to want Connor for CEO now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Falcon Club. It is my honor and my pleasure to introduce my wife, Lily Grimaldi. I'd like to sing a song that I wrote myself. I hope you like it. One small spark is all I need to flame this fire that burns. They tell me that love like this is rare A precious gem that we can share With special care our hearts will grow There's one more thing that you should know Just for your touch I'll give you all of my I'll give you all the love that I own. I'm sure you know I'm holding on. Can't you see? I hope you're waiting for me just for your touch, my love. I'll give you all that I am. Shannon, I'm so sorry. I feel like I have really just dragged you here I, mm. for nothing. Mm, no, what, what? You mean the, the vibes are gone? Oh, no, no. Scott's vibes are even stronger than ever. It's just that I feel that, well, if he's here, he's certainly the invisible man, and I've got to get out of here before I accost another priest. <laughs> well, don't be upset. Mm, I am. You know, tomorrow is mm. another day. <laughs> mm. Oh, huh. and you know, we can at least do one thing, get one thing done. Eduardo wanted to see you with a flower in your hair, right? right. Um, oh. Excuse me, both. Well, um, yeah. No, no. Buen buenas noches, senora. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, which one? Oh, are you buying? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm oh, buying. That's the one. Oh, it's, oh, it's good. so nice. Good. Choice, oh, Shannon. Good choice. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I have an idea. Uh, senora, uh, you speak English? Si. Ah, great. Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps you can help me. I'm, I'm trying desperately to find my son. I have a picture of him right here. Is it possible that you might have seen him somewhere? Yeah, I have two sons. Oh. Uh, oh, what a handsome gentleman. Yes. yes. Yes, his face is familiar to me. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's wonderful. Can you possibly tell me <coughs> when or where it might have been that you saw him? I'm sorry, senora. Sometimes my mind uh, is not working too good. But uh, after a good night's sleep, my mind is always clearer, you know. Oh. Uh, why don't you come tomorrow? Well, yes, I'll certainly do that. Yeah. I'll certainly. In fact, I want to buy all of your flowers because I want you to go home right now and get a good night's sleep, huh? Senora, uh, you, yeah, no, no, you no, don't no. have to. I know I don't have to. I want to, and you don't know how I love flowers. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Now, you go home and get that night's sleep, huh? Oh, I will be here tomorrow. Oh, great. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Oh, Shannon, I feel like we're really on to something. Oh, well, with my history, why wouldn't I believe that? Um, I am living proof of that stranger things have happened. Yes, well... <laughs> Come on. <sighs> well, thanks again for tolerating my little surprise visit, Barbara. You're a saint. Oh, an angel, maybe, but I don't think I'm ready for sainthood. But it's very easy for me to sit here in my garden and do some work and look at a terrific ad campaign that's been presented to me, but you... You are still working at this hour. Well, actually, uh, 
I have to admit, I had a little personal reason for coming by tonight. Mm, I kind of thought so. I heard about Emily's campaign for CEO. <sighs> I'm in a rough spot, Barbara. And I just need to know how much support I can uh, count on. And your son owns a lot of Walsh stock, and I was just wondering whether you knew that if he was coming to the stockholder meeting. No, no, I don't know. And I haven't talked to him about it. Sorry. Well, I know I'm out of line with this next question, but... <clears throat> do you know who he plans on backing for CEO this time? <laughs> no, I don't, but God help me, it's probably Emily. But you know... I bet he's not planning on being here. And if so, he's going to need a proxy. And who better than his mommy? Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could you wait for me? That was the awesome. That was All right, enough already. Shake the gloom and doom and, and go over there and say lots of nice things to Damien's wife. Go. Oh. Sure, no problem. Oh. You're going to be out to you. Emily. Eduardo. I came to say hello. Haven't had much of a chance to talk this evening. Well, that's because you're Lucinda's favorite escort. I think Lucinda has a favorite escort for each occasion. As I remember, her last one was Samantha's father. Really? Mm. Well, was her interest purely social, or was she hoping for a new business conquest? I don't think it was a business conquest. He's a carpenter, I believe. Uh, a retired carpenter, or so he claims. Claims? Mm -hmm. Why would he lie? That's the very question I'm asking. He also claims to have not traveled. Whereas I am convinced we met abroad years ago. I just can't remember where. Hmm. So Samantha's daddy has a hidden past. Isn't that fascinating? Come and dance with me, Eduardo. Come and dance. How can you? <laughs> with a real CEO, why chat with paste when you can dance with a real one? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my most oh, precious oh, one. Oh, you were so cute. You were so much feeling. Well, because I was singing for my husband. <laughs> You know what, Emma? I think I'll leave these lovebirds. I think we should. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you, love. Excuse baby. me. Excuse me. You won't mind yeah, if I what? steal him what? for one little dance. Come on, you. <laughs> We're cool. Excuse me. Excused. <laughs> so, uh, I heard about Samantha's daddy. Sounds fascinating. Uh, Elliot? Elliot? He's the best. He's hilarious. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, how well do we know Elliot? Excuse me, Craig. Emily, I'm sorry. Um, I happen... I don't remember where my keys are. Did I happen to leave them in your car? No, yeah, I somewhere? put them in the cup uh, between the two seats. It's all right. The car's locked up. You sure? While we talk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. okay, you sure? Yeah. Sam? Yeah, okay, yes. Dance? Absolutely, cowboy. Excuse us. Thank you. Excuse us. I think they make a handsome couple, don't you? <laughs> no, I think he's completely wrong for her. Good. Not bad. Good. You're really doing great. Uh, great? Yeah. Okay, I'll stay there. I'll get the chair. Wait a second, wait a second. What? I don't need a chair. In fact, I don't need a cane. Because I want to stand. And I you're going to fall. <laughs> oh, come on, Ginger. Too early for tap shoes. Oh, I know, but I'd like this position. Just hold me, okay? okay? I won't let go of you. Just promise me you'll take it a little bit slower. Okay. Still. I do want to go to Bob and Kim's, though, okay? Okay. We'll hold you like this while during the barbecue. <laughs> you know what? What? I don't think that I've told you yet today that I love you. Oh, I knew that. What's not to love? Oh, you kid. <laughs> hey, where are, the, where are the kids? In the kitchen. A box of cereal. What are you talking about? They already ate. <laughs> They're not eating it. They're having a catch with it. Oh, just like home. Good. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Want some coffee? Oh, I'll help myself. Thanks. Tom said you stopped by the station. Any mm -hmm. progress? Well, maybe, maybe. I've had glue on my mind ever since yesterday. I was over at Barbara's and Jennifer's collage kind of stuck to me. Yeah, but the big question is, will it hold up in court? Well, I think it will. I had a lab test done, and the first two notes that the stalker sent were sort of done with an industrial-type glue, but the third one used kind of a kitty glue. So I thought, well, the stalker could be an artist or maybe a teacher or maybe has children. Sam? 
Sam. Sam. you're doing senora oh. senora yes. i remember oh hallelujah tell me everything please well your son he he says something about las palmas uh-huh eh, that's all las palmas well, uh, are you certain si sí, senorita only las palmas las palmas Thank you. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. And, and, gracias. and your basket's over sí, there. Sí, sí, señorita. <laughs> okay, Shannon, we're off to Las Palmas. Andale! <laughs> Accessories by Swank Incorporated. Nurses' uniforms provided by Nursemate. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns.